Welcome to the devotional moment from St. Matthew Lutheran Church and Early Childhood Center in Hawthorne Woods, Illinois. I'm Pastor Ed Blonsky. For we did not follow cleverly devised myths when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we were eyewitnesses of his majesty. For when he received honor and glory from God the Father, and the voice was borne to him by the majestic glory, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased, we ourselves heard this very voice, born from heaven, for we were with him on the holy mountain. 2 Peter 1, 16-18 A greeting card executive had a great idea. He would go to the local prison, set up a table in the prison cafeteria, and offer to send Mother's Day cards for the inmates, free of charge. The idea was so successful that they had to order another truckload of cards. And he figured that if it worked for Mother's Day, then on Father's Day, they would do the same thing. However, to his surprise, not a single inmate took advantage of the opportunity on Father's Day. It has since been well documented that inmates have a strong relationship with their mothers, but distant, if any, relationship with their fathers. Jesus Christ had a strong relationship with his Father. At least twice, as recorded in the, in the Gospels, God the Father spoke these encouraging words of love to his Son. This is my Son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. The relationship of Father and Son is powerful, but overlooked by too many today. How will you handle this Father's Day? While it may very well have been set up as a day to sell greeting cards, I hope you will take advantage of Father's Day this year as a day to strengthen or reestablish your relationship with your father. Take him out to lunch this week. If possible, sit down and talk with him. What? You say, you don't obviously know my father. I don't have to. I've heard it all before. I've been through it myself. It took a long time, but my relationship with my father has strengthened and grown over the years. Because Jesus Christ, through the work of the Holy Spirit, made me a forgiven man, I was able to forgive my own father. He wasn't anything horrendous. He was just this man, you know, a sinner like the rest of us, doing his best, most of the time, to raise a family and make his way in this world. He had his failings, just like I have mine. The older I get, the more I realize how much I'm like him and different from him. But more importantly, I realize how I am forgiven by God the Father, who accepted Jesus' sacrifice on the cross to make me a new person, a new and better son and father and husband in my own right. God also has forgiven my father and made him into a better husband and father. Here are some thoughts from Patrick Morley, author of The Man in the Mirror for Father's Day. If your father is living, take him to lunch maybe just the two of you. Prepare a list of things you appreciate and a summary of the ways you feel let down. Read the list of things you appreciate to him. Give examples. Then tell him about the pain you have felt. Talk about it. He will probably express regret. Regardless of his response, tell him, Dad, I thank you for being my dad. You mean so much to me. I forgive you for the past. I love you very much and I want us to have a good relationship. And why don't you plan to spend more time together? Maybe you could have lunch or breakfast once every week or month or two months or quarterly. If your father is deceased, write your father a letter. Spend a few days jotting down notes. Then sit down and write it out. Tell him what you appreciate, the good things he passed along to you, all the things you miss what you regret, the places where you think he let you down, and then, by God's grace, thank him where you can and forgive him for everything else. If emotion comes, don't hold back. A good cry can heal many hurts. Let it all go. And when you are done, ceremoniously burn the letter as a symbol of putting the past behind you once and for all. If you can't let it go, consider a few sessions with a professional Christian counselor. You don't have to spend the rest of your life with a seed of bitterness eating away at you. For sons with a father-in-law, why not send a special letter of gratitude to your father-in-law for welcoming you into his family, giving you the hand of his daughter, supporting you through the years, and whatever else you can say 
that expresses gratitude. If possible, consider going to lunch and presenting your letter in person. If you never knew your dad, write God a letter with all the questions you have about your father. Tell God how much you miss not knowing or not having a dad. Thank God for the men who have filled in the gaps. Ask God to fill in everything else. Consider finding a younger man who doesn't have a dad in his life and get your families together. It is my prayer that you have a wonderful Father's Day. In fact, I'll pray for that right now. Heavenly Father, thank you for being a wonderful Father to all of us, giving us exactly what we need, hearing us talk to you, and giving us as a father gives to his children. Lord, we thank you for our own dads, whether we know them or not. We forgive them where they have failed and help us to love them as you have loved us. And I pray that all will have a very blessed Father's Day this year. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining me for today's devotional moment from St. Matthew Lutheran Church and Early Childhood Center in Hawthorne Woods, Illinois. Join me again next time. Have a great Father's Day.